Again, a call for inclusion in the wake of this election means remembering our covenant with each other, that we belong to one another, and it means that we really have to start listening to each other. You know, I think we have spent so much time divided, so much time getting into liberal camps and conservative camps and and all of that stuff. And we really have to get back to listening to everyone. The common denominator in this election was fear. And that was on both sides of the aisle, both sides of, of red states, blue states. The common denominator was fear. And and fear is is a product of consciousness and it is something we can o- we can overcome but only when we take the time to listen to each other. Well, my family, my spiritual practice, and uh, a sense and a hope that what lives inside of us is always bigger than our current expression. It doesn't matter how much you achieve today, there's a capacity within us to achieve more the next day. It doesn't matter how much we don't achieve today, there's a capacity within us that is unlimited. And that capacity is what I call God. That's spirit. That's the life force. That's the energy that's in the universe around us. And that is always bigger. And so I take solace in that. I take solidarity in the fact that, that through tragedy, we get to really see each other. And so more people are getting to know each other through this. Uh, people who perhaps didn't see themselves as social justice advocates are beginning to wake up to the fact that they need to be. People through Dakota uh, Pipeline, people who perhaps didn't think that uh, it was theirs to do to, to stand up and to speak up for the earth are beginning to see that they need to. And so chaos is that opportunity and danger t- together. That's the Chinese symbol for it. So we're looking at that intersection and, and we're waking up to, to the fact that we belong to one another. And I'm, I'm really grateful for that. Mm-hmm.